Hello again and welcome to Eric's Life, the vlog on the channel in which my bank account dwindles more and more every single week. Um, especially so this week because I have to show Nintendo my love, which might not sound like a financially sound decision. Um, yeah, it's probably not. Uh, I got Metroid Samus Returns, the special edition, which means it comes packaged with a soundtrack celebrating the music of the series and uh, this game. Seems pretty awesome. I can't wait to play it. I might review it. Um, it's going to be amazing. Metroid's back, baby. It's been too long. Because I didn't play Federation Force, so I haven't played an awesome Metroid game since Other M. So, yeah. It's been a while. Um, that's not all I got, though. I also got a new Nintendo 3DS XL. I actually haven't gotten a new 3DS um, since the original 2011 black version. Which means uh, all my family have updated newer 3DS's. Um, so I figured one that looks as classy as this I might as well pick it up which means you know probably unwise decisions in the long run but that's okay because I also got the Amiibo. Samus and the Metroid look pretty darn snazzy so that's exciting and on top of that I actually got something free which is a Metroid or a Samus Aran keychain here from GameStop so uh, I'm gonna unbox these, so let's do it. All right, here we go, baby. So we have the beauty in here, so we're gonna open that up. It also came with AR cards. I still don't know why they bother with that six years later, and they they never really did anything with AR cards, like beyond the few things they did at launch, so I'm not entirely sure why they kept up with that. But damn, isn't that shiny, classy? It reflects the light in my room quite well. Samus is looking fine, and then it's gold on the back with the uh, screw attack symbol. Wow, this looks sleek. I guess we should open it up here as well. Yeah, there we go. Colored buttons, sleek top screen, it's wider. It's nice, it's really nice. Look at that. Oh, I'm pretty excited about this. So, new game, new 3DS system. Probably right, right when the 3DS is going to like lose its momentum for me, because I bet this is the last big game I'll care about. But hey, um, that doesn't mean I'll stop replaying 3DS games. So, you know, it's going to be a fun uh, journey, especially with Metroid Samus Returns, which I will now open next. And here we go. Out of the box, we have the, uh, the soundtrack, Metroid Samus Returns, Samus Archives Sound Selection. Um, which has really good music on it. I might be able to show that off in a bit. And then we have the game itself. And since I have the special edition, it's actually got reversible uh, box art. And uh, I'm going to show off that right now as well. Alright, that's what the cartridge looks like. Really love that art of the uh, horizon on the planet there. But you know, I've never played the original Game Boy Classic Metroid 2 Return of Samus. And now I get to play the remake. And it's pretty cool. They have this little Easter egg with the uh, the cover art. I like it a lot. And it seems like it's completely authentic for the most part. Other than the barcode there. I mean, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah, I mean, and they replicated the pose um, for this remake. Just, you know, with all of the modern sleekness that we've come to expect from the series. And here we go. Now we can see the inside of this. So... We got a pretty good uh, sound selection here. Some of my favorites from the entire series. I mean, we got like really classic stuff like the uh, Ridley theme to the, the title screen of Metro Prime 3 um, to you know, really everything in between. And I, I appreciate that quite a bit. So I think you can pause it and uh, look through the, uh, the songs if you're interested in uh, picking up the special edition just for this. But yeah. It's a pretty cool bonus. Uh, in Europe, they got more stuff. I believe they got an art book and I think a trinket or two. Um, so, gosh darn it. But I guess with that stuff not included, it does save me a little bit of money. We did get a trinket of sorts in this keychain. It's it's kind of three-dimensional, you can see right there. So that's cool. Um, I really don't use keychains in, like, real life. Um, I usually just, like, hang them up, kind of like Ryoma over here from Fire Emblem Fates. Or Zura, or Xander. I unboxed them a very long time ago, but hey, it's another collector's item. And I'm all about that, as you probably well know. 
And here we have True Art. Honestly, I've said this with a few other amiibo, but it still ranks up there with what I'm about to say. This is one of the best looking amiibo, I believe. I mean, it's just very sleek, much like the original Smash Brothers amiibo. But I think the detail is even greater on this version of Samus. The pose is awesome. My hand's shaking with excitement. I just, I love it a lot. The colors are super bright. I don't know, that's just, that's just a badass amiibo right there. Samus Aran, Space Bounty Hunter. But, just as cool, really, is this Metroid freeing itself from captivity here. The plastic case is made out of a different material. Also, the base, now you can't really tell on this uh, amiibo, but the base for Samus is uh, her symbol, basically, from Screw Attack, um, which is a nice touch. And then, the most notable thing about this amiibo is that it's squishy, and everything's better when it's squishy, right? Uh, I don't know what this material is, but it's a, it's a different kind of plastic to, uh, I don't know, is this canonically what a Metroid feels like? It might, it might just be. So I really like that. Um, but yeah, Metroid Samus Returns all the way. Um, literally the only thing I don't have so far, and I'm actually getting it, it's uh, coming to school a little later, is the uh, Prima Official Player's Guide, which I am getting that too because I collect them, so I'm pretty much got everything Metroid Samus Returns related I possibly could. Um, but I have high hopes. I think this might just be the best 2D Metroid game besides Super Metroid. And that might make it a 10 out of 10. I'm super just ready to experience this game. And uh, I just love Metroid. And if we get Metroid Prime 4 within a year or two, um, that series is back, baby. Back for the way most people like it um, for 2D and 3D. But first we got this. Um, which is great because there hasn't been a 2D Metroid in 13 years. Metroid Zero Mission was in 2004. Um, and that was itself a remake of Metroid 1. And this is a remake of Metroid 2, so I guess it's kind of fitting in a way. So I wonder if we'll get remakes of Super Metroid and Fusion down the line. But, um, you know, I, I like I like what we got here. Spent too much money, but there aren't too many more games that I'll be purchasing for the rest of 2017. And hopefully I'll be able to contain myself for 2018. Um, if I if I truly am poor, um, because <laughs> it's a fear. But for now, I'm going to enjoy Metroid: Samus Returns and pretend like I'm not. Are you recording? No, Eric, I am not recording. <laughs> yes, I'm recording. So we're going to go see it. So that will be exciting. It's hot. It is hot. <laughs> It's supposed to be very hot in the days to come, but now Ryan, you've actually read the Stephen King novel, right? Yeah. So how did you like the novel? The I novel? liked it a lot. So it, it's very scary when you're reading it, right? Yeah. So that's promising. It sounds like this adaptation is pretty faithful. Yeah. And it made a lot of money. So, so why not go see it? Because up until now, there are three really amazing Stephen King adaptations in film. The Shawshank Redemption, The Shining, and Stand By Me. And everything else is basically not good. So... Misery's good. Oh, okay. Who I wrote that? that. I haven't seen that. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of material. The Dark Tower came out, like, literally a month ago, and that was apparently okay, so... Sounds like this is better. So we're gonna go see it. You'll float too. You'll float too. <laughs> a good looking evening to finish another Star Wars novel. This one was one of the shorter ones. Um, Star Wars The Weapon of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker Adventure, and it was pretty good. Um, it's less than 200 pages with illustrations and pretty big size font. Um, so it was a fairly quick read, um, and it was really good. It was kind of a, a story that is not necessary to know for the, the greater tale of Star Wars, but it does characterize Luke Skywalker further uh, in between episodes 4 and 5, shortly after A New Hope. And uh, it gets into the Force a lot and lightsaber combat, and uh, a trip to Devron in which uh, he explores more details of the Jedi Order. So, it's a nice... Uh, story that bridges the gap between kind of the prequel and original era that um, 
has lots of information and is uh, pretty good on its own. I could imagine this book having been like an animated Clone Wars arc if the Clone Wars had, you know, had that style, but in the different time period of the Galactic Civil War. And it could be like a cool three to four episode arc um, of a TV show, I think. It was, it was very good, and the writing was very snappy, and it was a quick read. So I definitely recommend that one as well. It was a good Star Wars novel, and uh, I've read a few of them at this point, and I've liked every single one that I've read, including most of the comics as well. So, yep, I read that tonight. Uh, finished it, rather. And um, I'm not sure which one I'll read next, but I'll probably be taking a break because I'll be um, revising and proofreading a lot of the stuff I'm writing. So I might not read somebody else's work for a while, but it was a, it was a good read. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, it's Monday and I'm still home because apparently, turns out, I have pain in my lower back and abdomen and had to go to the ER to see if it was anything serious, but nothing that anyone could figure out. Oh, but I, I am still hurting quite a bit. So that's why I'm still home, but I can go to the Court of Honor for Boy Scout Troop while I'm here, sign off on Communication Merit Badge. So that'll be fun. Ryan? Mm. Ready for scouts? Oh my God. <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, sometimes you just find yourself in a church in your Boy Scout uniform when you hear Bohemian Rhapsody being randomly played on the piano. It was just such a unique moment that I was like, ah, camera. Um, but uh, I'm back at school now. I still feel pretty rough. Uh, my back still hurts, and I don't know why. It might be stress, actually, disintegrating my body slowly. I don't really know. But I'm still getting things done, so, I mean, the pain is not unbearable enough that I can't do work, and that's what matters. Ooh, ugh. yeah. I just hope I uh, have some time to breathe this week so I can play Samus Returns and get a review of that out and hopefully do some more creative writing because I've been neglecting that for far too long. I really, really have. Um, everything else is like, you know, I'm on top of it. Um, but yeah, I need to stop neglecting that. Also, need to make an active attempt at, you know, treating the people around me with more appreciation. I'll just leave it at that. Sometimes it's, it's just ugh, too easy to get caught up in your own head. And it is hard. Whether you control it or not, because everything counts. Everything. Everything from my computer not working, everything from the lights going off, everything to whatever you want to think is not counting, it's going to count. The thing about change is you got to be aware of it. Sometimes if you want things to happen the way you want, the way you want things to go, you have to be aware that change is going to happen. And sometimes we're just not aware. Oh, I'll, I'll get to it. I, I know. Man, he's always taking his time. Why does he wait so long? Why? Doesn't have the mentality of getting it done now. My reality changed quickly when I got into the NFL. Of now. Now, do it now, or else you're going to get cut right now. That's what they said. First practice. Never forget it. I'm out there doing what I thought was supposed to be covering the tight end. Okay, then let them go to the, to the safety. He said, that's not how we do it on this defense. You make sure you cover the tight end, and then you gotta stay with him all the way down the scene. Oh, okay. They ran a couple more plays, a couple more plays, then we called back the same defense, 
I did the same thing. I let him go. Coach said, come here for a second. Come here. Let me tell you something. If you don't pick it up now, you got one more chance to get it right. After that, you're going to have to leave. After today. Oh. <laughs> okay. You sure, Coach? Because I, I was drafted. I thought I was here. No. That's how it worked. Your speed. Your conditioning. You got to overcome circumstances. Overcome it. Overcome the opponent. Overcome. You're going to go against somebody. You don't even know what they can do. You might have heard about them. You might have read about them. You might have seen them on film. But now you got to play against them. Ooh, that is the sport. Now you got to compete because that's what it's about. You got to compete now. Mm, I just wanted to practice. I just wanted the uniform. I just wanted the hat and the t-shirt and get my picture taken. No, there's <laughs> nobody here like that, right? Okay. You want to compete. You want to overcome. They're going to try to beat you and you're going to try to beat them. Amanda, how are you doing? Just because I want to, like, I'm giving Allie the dimensions yeah, for say, this picture. And then oh my gosh, that's now. exciting. <laughs> oh, you're vlogging. Um, um, so I'm going <laughs> Hey, that's the paper. Everything's exciting when we do things. So this is how short the article is. The one article is. The obituary type yeah, thing. It's very short. Because we're just doing kind of like a small... I mean, if you wanted to squeeze part of another story on page one. But I want to do like a picture of him. Do you know how big your picture is going to be? Freddie's working on finding one right now because he's cool. on to move it. <laughs> I've been molested. Fred, do you know what picture you want to do? Molester in Ferdinand. Spanish is to bother someone. So to bother and to molest someone is like the same thing yeah, in Spanish. It's molestar and it's to bother. Molestar. Did you were you in Spanish in high school? Yeah. I feel like I we were in a years. class together. I don't remember like most of it, but you I think know. we were in classes together. Well, yeah, we probably were. Senorita Artman. Yeah, she hated me. I can't enlarge it. Hey, just send it. Just like save it. Yeah. 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 Good job, Freddie. They might be able to stretch it. Okay. Freddie, no hats yeah. in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can get what it back on your head. <laughs> you were doing this earlier, me tossing it on his head. Oh. oh. Damn. Close. Close. Freddie, did you see the slow motion? I did. Sad edit of you. That was that beautiful. I've never been prouder of my, I applaud you. my cinematography and editing. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. It can't be done. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, I think it's because you're throwing it too linear of a path. This, 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is too sad. linear or linear? <gasps> What's the difference? Huh? Hello? Tomato, tomato. <laughs> right? Yeah, don't. I said it right the first time. Allie's our new photo editor. What's up, Allie? Say hello to the internet. I do this every week, so okay. that's part of the job. Did Photoshop shut down? Or no, we minimized it. Oh, good. Cool. We had computer problems like two weeks ago, so if that was the case, that would not be good. Good job, Nicole. Nice stroking of that red pen. Oh my god, are you recording again? Okay. Yeah. I was like, sure. I don't know what it's Oh. Who's the best team in football right now, Austin? Best team in the NFL? Yeah. Probably the Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. We'll see if that holds up. That's your official prediction. Right the Falcons are huge. I like it. That's only like they could like I am. This is just, I was underlining a weird part he did. Oh. Just to show Nikki that's so. not actually an edit for this line. Um, so. Oh, Amanda. Thank you. Do you have an idea of what we should do the corner graphic for this week? Yes. I'll look it over. Like, ask what? Apparently there is a new eagle logo with, associated with the 150 years. So mm. I got it from Tina Horner today and we're using that. Because you work with the enemy, if you will. Yeah. Because you do PR and journalism. But it's not good and evil. It's two sides of the same coin. I wish I had a coin. Two sides. Two sides of the same pen cap. Two sides of the same pen cap. 
You know when he shows that camera people, it's always like the most unflattering angle possible. Oh yeah. Uh, I just speak up and I'm like, <laughs> I'm always like, Wait, what's full the, full can you teach me a flattering angle? God no. Go like away. on you right now. <laughs> Holy crap, I saw your profile photo. Well, I mean, to make up for it, like your profile photo of like you in front of the Beauty and the Beast stained glass. Holy yeah. shit, that looks like professionally taken. Thank you. Welcome. It's amazing. It looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, so people go stalk Nicole Rip, Nikki Rip, on Facebook. <laughs> And then you'll see better angles of her. I have to ask Nikki a question. Oh. And I was like, oh, Nicole, You were doing something else in Scott Coon's com research class? How dare you? Hey. How do you know how big of a sample size you need for your research? Hmm? 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 Pain. Fun. Stuck. Were you not paying attention? You're the only person not paying attention to the whole class, Anna. I'm gonna make fun of you. Okay. I'm embarrassed. You're right. Oh my god, class was like awkward today, cause Dude, I, I kind of like low key revealed, like, you know, just things about your childhood. You know? Oh yeah. Like what TV show would you not miss when you were 13 or eight? It was really fucked up because he was like, he asked me, that, he asked that, and then I wrote down Family Guy, and I was like, that is why I am a fucking that's why person. You're, that's why you're. Because I started watching Family Guy at 13. That's why you're screwed up. That's why 13. I'm definitely screwed up. It went from Arthur, Arthur to Family Guy. In five years. In five years. <laughs> that is a quick. All because of my older brother. That is a quick growing up. See, like, that's the thing. I'm the oldest, so I didn't do that. Like, I wasn't, like, Family Guy at 13, but I think my little brother, like, was, you know. Dude. So, it happens. It happens. It happens. And then now, he was like, what do you watch now for Escape? And I'm like, uh, like, uh -oh. <laughs> so many things. Well, see, the thing about now is, like, I don't watch things at a certain time anymore. Yeah. But when I was a I kid, I did. I don't even have cable. Like, I just watch Netflix. Yeah, exactly. Netflix or some sort of website or, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, she's a Jedi. Amanda is a Jedi and Freddy is a Sith. Look how deep, so look how deep these pockets are. I don't have my car. Oh my gosh. Girls usually have shallow pockets. You're subverting. Amanda, you're subverting gender roles. You guys are attacking. You guys are fighting the war on sexism by having pockets. I have surprise pockets. Yes. <laughs> Wait, okay. This has gotten really weird really Allie. fast. Okay, Allie. But yeah, my name's Aw, friendship. She's gonna be sick. Aw, friendship. <laughs> it's okay. Anna, don't, I'm still nervous. don't drive this one away, too. <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke. I was like, I think I drove you guys away. No, it's really hard Aww. to drive you away. I hang out with Mana a lot, so. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, another edition has been accomplished, but not before, can you believe it, more technical problems. I don't know what those odds are, but they seem very slim, and we are unlucky. The power went out for like two seconds, if that, in the office um, while we were finishing pages and uh, seven of them were completely saved and finished, but the ones we were working on got like reset to their first save earlier in the day for some reason. I will never know why, I don't know. Um, so we were a little late because of that, but we did finish. So I really hope these crazy crashes and outages and stuff stop happening and people stop moving around or you know leaving their positions or whatever because uh, so far at the clarion call this semester uh, a single wednesday has not gone to plan so i'll be crossing my fingers for next week but at least we have a paper so there is that Phew. Mm, it's Thursday, but it's, I don't know, there's not much to say. It seems to often be the case on Thursdays lately. I'm on the heating pad because my body is broken for some reason that I will never understand. But, I don't know, my back's hurting a little less than it has been earlier this week, so... Maybe it's stress-related and that's lessening, and maybe... Uh, an infection is working itself out. I don't, I don't even know what's wrong, but mm, paper got printed, homework got turned in and done, took a quiz. I was actually on the radio today 
with my team in electronic news media class talking about some news so that was cool maybe in the future I'll actually have to vlog our uh, recording session that could be cool and different um, but that went well especially for the first time we did that this semester um, so I can't complain too much honestly today felt like a glasses day and I'll probably keep wearing them throughout this weekend upcoming because I don't have much I need to go out for but some people think glasses suit me anyway so sure I'll wear them I need to give my eyes a break but that's gonna be it for this vlog thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one by the way this vlog is such a part of my life that I actually dreamed about it because I had a weird dream where I was driving with my family through this miniature but also giant city of spires and stalactites that are made of rock and the roads were not fenced in and you could drive all the way through this pit made of this city of stone and there was like a museum at the bottom with a, a dried up lake and I was thinking to myself, huh, it's Thursday, but this footage is really cool, so should I put it in the next vlog, which would start on a Friday? So it's something as weird and not a thing that exists in real life was in my dream, but also my mentality of, huh, where will I put this in the vlog, was like also in my dream. Well, I have some weird dreams. Uh, but as a writer, I, I will gladly accept that.